Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure. Looks like what? Star Maid. Yeah, I was expecting t to do a Conan one, but unfortunately, I'm still editing that footage, and man, oh man. I've been having a lot of fun playing that game as well, and so yeah. So anyways, on to Star Maid, right? That's what you're here to watch, so let's continue with that. And with further, without further ado, let's hit spawn and see what happens. I've been having a, a chunk error happening, so I, I haven't been able to play on uh, the Star Squadron server, which that's what this is, and this is the, the Star Squadron base that is flying around in the background here. and. You know, the wonderful Jace Machine has invited me to to hop on here and play, and I figured, yeah, why not? Let's do a quick video and see you know, see how things have changed, and see if I'm able to speak more coherently or whatever you want to use, whatever words, verbiage, and blah 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 blah. Right? So let's carry on. Let's go right in. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh. snap! Okay, perf. Ah. See, this is what I've been fighting with, this this sector, this block has not been loading in at all whatsoever. So, I can't really edit my area here, which is fine and dandy. Let us carry on with our wonderful new game on the Star Squadron server. So, let's see, let's take a quick peek around this place. Let's see who's all around, and... There's been some changes to the storyline of the Star Squadron stuff, and that is awesome. I always like to hear new Star Squadron stuff. Man, oh man, that's a big... Uh! <laughs> oh man, I wasn't even aligned! Was I... In... I... Oh, I'm not even in gravity. Look at that. Wee! Oh, I'm flying all about. There's nice two levels here, but I don't know what it looks like. Ah. We can kind of see here, it's kind of a little cross section of this place. <laughs> I hope I'm not giving any kind of vital information out, that'd be bad, but whatever, it's fine, it's a game. So, there's normally a gravity pad, I think, like around here somewhere, and you one over on the other end, there's a build you block here. I hope that other people who come here don't see right through this, because that's a major security breach. So I'm not sure if that, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what it w what would even fix that. So yeah, let's take a quick peek here. This is a cool little lobby area. Who's across our way here? Oh, nice! Look at that evil giraffe, and that's a damn good idea, evil giraffe. I need to put uh, a little block stating you know, my little claim to that that spot. So let's quickly work our way down this way. I usually like to be you gravity aligned to structures that I'm walking along, but that is okay. I'm fine. Oh, what's this? Is this top ace? Is that who I think this is? That's cool. That's cool. Who's this one? Fi. Hmm. I'm not 100% what this is, and I apologize to you. <laughs> I'm not sure which one. That might be a new one that I have not met yet. I'm the one of those people that kind of just lurk around and kind of hop onto these servers and kind of build my own stuff and try and imagine that hey maybe I have stuff as good as these guys right right wrong <laughs> at least that's my opinion who is this this, this, this checkerboard pattern I don't see a name someone's using it oh man I don't even know who this would be I apologize I don't know what the checkerboard pattern means so <laughs> oh, that's so funny man oh man I don't even see anything here either I just see Another wonderful, amazing pattern. Wonderful art. <laughs> Again, don't know what it represents. Ah, oh, man, it's just so funny. Let's see here. I had a wonderful time with. Uh, um, I'm gonna call him JW, but it's I think JW608. Um, of course, there's gonna be a link to his channel. So definitely check it out. There's usually a link to everyone's channel on the Star Squadron server. I've also noticed that these things are not aligned on these these turret things. They're not connected, so I'm not sure if that's an error on my part on the client or if that's that is literally kind of the issue. And it's kind of weird because earlier when I was here, these were still kind of down here, almost as if they're connected but not. I wonder if I can hop into this. Where is the? I don't even know where I would hop in and move it. Because I think that's the AI module up top. Um, missile computer. 
down here would be the turret rail, I think. So I think in the middle would be the, the block. Maybe even behind here, there would be the, what is it, the ship block, right? So yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. What is this over here? This looks like a door. Can we activate this? Yes, I can. What is this? This looks like a meeting room of some sort with a holographic projection. You know, maybe that's kind of what these these force fields are being used for. That's a very creative use of everything. Is this like outsider's glass? Yeah, okay, there's glass. Just curious. Just you can barely see the glass. I can kind of see it, but really it's clear to me. <laughs> That's a scanner block, but they're using it as decoration. That, that's always, it always amazes me to see that. Now, what happens if I turn this on? Will it just turn on the one door, not the other? Yeah, no, okay. So this can be open and closed as per. Oh, okay, I see. I understand how that goes. It's a, like a little cubby hole to, to reach your hand in. Oh, that's a cool way of doing that. I, see, look at that. Another cool, creative way of hiding that. So that way, at, at a distance, you can hide the buttons. But then up close, you can kind of have spot for them. That's so cool. Okay, what's what else is on this wonderful station? Looks like there's teleport pad down here. And here is gravity well. Perfect. Um, how do I align? I think it's R on it. Uh, there we go. There we go. Now I got gravity. So how do I use this bad boy? Do I just R on this? And here we go. How do I know if I'm gate number six? room five dock five dock six i think this would be my dock so i could technically set destination to that and boom now i'm not sure if all three of these will light up i think if you connect them all to the same computer then they will but i'm not 100 percent on that all you star made pros will be able to school me on that education <laughs> cool this is a, a neat little setup here can I close this door? Yeah, this is open for some reason. Oh, snap. What is that? Huh. That is so cool. Now, why can I not open it? Hmm. Or is that, like, closed now? Oh, really interesting. Really interesting. What's this say? Area under construction. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to be, like, a security gate type of a situation. It's almost like... You know, if you want to, you have people hop on and then bring them into here to talk to them, and then you you kick them off. I guess, yeah, I guess that's kind of the idea. Interesting. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I could be completely wrong on that, so don't get me wrong. This is a completely blind. Um, I'm going to throw the footage with JW kind of at the end of this little tour I'm doing. So hopefully you're okay with this tour. <laughs> I hope Jay's machine is fine with it, and if not, well, whatever. Uh, too late, damage is done. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So it's I'm just kind of, I don't think there's anything proprietary here. I think it's pretty standard. It's it's like anything else. It's a structure and you got shipyard and you got a factory, a little factory in here and just it's, it's decorated up nicely. Just got teleport pads everywhere. So reality is it's, it's an awesome looking your base, right? That's the the whole purpose of that, right? I think, I think. Is to have. Oh, snap! That is awesome. That is even better. Holy crap! Good job on that, folks. Amazing job. I'm glad that that hasn't been disconnected. Do not leave on 10,000 output. Yeah. See, I guess if you activate this, then yeah, it's gonna burn a lot of resources. So please don't leave it on. Yeah, it makes sense. Thank you for the note. I like that. I like seeing these kind of things but i do want to build my own place because i hate i hate having to oh snap so what i might have broken something here so i've been am very sorry <laughs> oh no it's a server save i think it has something to do with that yeah okay so the server save was happening at the exact same time so excellent oh wait a second why is that force field there? Is that maybe just ah? Uh, so it's like a doorway. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, what's over here? Have I checked over here? It's probably going to be a duplicate kind of area around. Looks like another teleport pad area, another doorway thing. So it's almost like a replication of the other end. So it's like they did it in mirror mode almost with both 
you know, X, Y, and whatever else, <laughs> whatever else direction. I know that there's upper kind of areas here and just awesome, awesome look. Definitely amazing. Just these things bug me, these little personal turrets. What the heck is this? Yeah, see, I'm turning on something else. So I'm standing in front and there's these things that exist. I wonder if that's like a security thing and you know only available to the one side, but I don't know. Or maybe you need to have faction permissions. So because I have I I, I have founders access, then yeah, and I appreciate uh, JW for that for setting me up with that. That is amazing. Uh, thank you, Jace Machine. And, you know, thank you, Nathan, for for hosting the server. As always, it's very much appreciated. As well, your content is is great. I really enjoyed the 3D printer stuff that he did. So that was another cool thing. So yeah, so there you go. So that is the tour of this base. So I tell you what, folks, enjoy that footage from JW. And yeah, and I'll be back with hopefully, you know, I'll be working on my ship a little bit. I might be out salvaging something just to see how it works. I don't know. Oh, I need cargo room. Yeah, I'm going to probably go and buy some more components and whatnot. And so that way I can start rolling in with the cash. So, yeah. So, I will see you later. I think dock number five or six. six. <laughs> it's either five or six, one of the two. Well, I guess we'll see when we get there. I think Draffy has five. Come on. How many docks are there uh, at the station? There are ten, I think. Okay. More or less. Yeah, it won't be too hard to find a, an empty one. Let's see. There is a gate to spawn here somewhere. Except I have to find out which one it is. And watch me run into pirates. <laughs> Classic, right? Yep, yep. Well, that's Indeed. why your little Shoot. shuttle can cloak, right? And, and has a radar yep. jammer. And... <laughs> it has a radar jammer and a uh, cargo block. I do have a cloak ship, but it's ugly, and, uh, well, yeah, I don't think uh, this thing to be picking people up in. <laughs> Not that my little jump shuttle is much better. Oh, Mr. Shopkeeper should be inside. <laughs> ah, ah. He's outside. That's funny. Uh, and there is another um, advanced shop somewhere in our territory. I have it marked down just in case you... We'd lose that shopkeeper. Oh, uh, yeah, they should always, you pop back, they should always come back if you lose them. Yeah. But this being the Star Squadron server, <laughs> you never know. Because <laughs> exactly. I had a ship undock itself from the um, HQ and go guard a gate. So I have no idea about the server anymore. <laughs> Oh, cool. It must have had an AI module in it or something. Nope. <laughs> so, I I don't know. I don't question anymore. And we all blame it on Curso, but we'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. There's a ship that has arrived. <laughs> yes. And it's me, and I won't even shoot you much. So, do you need any starting gear? I have a few credits I can... No, no, it's all good. Okay. I'll, I'll have with whatever... So what, just sit on the ship somewhere and you're flying around? Yep. There's not like an internal... Nope. Because <laughs> internal would require like skill and space. Um, okay, there you go. Um, how do I attach myself to the ship? I guess um, that... They changed the key. It's O now. Ah, okay, there we Set. go. Ah, perfect. Nice. Right. Nice. Oh, so right. I am nicely docked. Or, well, essentially docked with my butt. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, and are we going to be recording this? I think so. All right. Let's see. I need to find out where is my gate. Because Zaktar made some gates for us. Nice, nice. It's kind enough to do for both sides. Well, he likes to build, wait. right? So. Yep. Woo! Oh boy, hyperspace! Or whatever you want to call yep. it, warping or whatever. And... <laughs> I jumped to the wrong spot. <laughs> awesome. I targeted the gate. I didn't set it as my waypoint. Yep. So you jumped. I don't I don't even know where you jumped. You probably just jumped in the direction. I jumped past it. I yeah. was looking at it. I jumped past it. Yeah. Yeah. 
We have the large sectors on, so. Yes, I like that. Yes, so I don't use Whoa! thrusters unless I'm docking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a... a <laughs> there we what go. This? <laughs> it's a um, mining ship, uh, AI miner. Yeah, the trader, the trade uh, um, faction. Right. Cannot jump. Can only jump while free floating or in gravity. Well, I'm still on here, so ha. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Oh, wait a minute. Did I leave you behind? No, no, I'll let you know. <laughs> it's just funny right. when it says that. Now, this jumps to the sector or the system below uh, Squadron Home. And That's I have cool. a couple stations out here if you ever need to visit them or. Couple stations? Huh. Okay, so we're. Oh, are we. Oh, we're pretty much here, are we, or no? Yeah, one more jump and we will be okay. there. Okay, sweet. That's actually not too far. No, it's not bad. And in the system over, we have a gate to uh, Curso Space. Well, our staging area in Curso Space. Mm hmm. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I see a bunch of stuff up here. Yeah, it takes a little bit for everything to. Yeah. Load in. But I see all the little green uh, yep. thingies. I believe <laughs> that is Garth's mining fleet and Jace's attack squadron. I think Top has a mining fleet out here as well. So do those just go? Mine. So do those, do those just go and do their thing, or or do you um, have to set them to go and mine and stuff you, like that? You have to take them to the sector you want, and then under fleet commands, you can tell them to mine. And whenever I click it, they fire their beams once, then stare at the asteroids like idiots. <laughs> so I don't, I don't do the fleet mining. I should turn off these stupid markers. Yep, um, that's probably a good idea. I'm just gonna turn everything off. There we go. Is there a quick, easy way of doing that, or is it through? Uh, the... You can it, through the in, or you can hit F1G, but that turns the whole hood off. But I, oh. I kind of like having my hood on. Yeah. <laughs> Well, man, we're coming at it upside down. There we go. Better. Well, it's space. There's no such thing as right side up or down, right? Well, <laughs> in relation to the station. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Squadron Headquarters. Uh, this was built by Top. Let's see. I'm going to dock to dock number 8. That is my home dock. Okay. Every squadron member has a home dock here at, uh, at Headquarters. But you feel free to uh, go colonize and make your own stations and all that jazz. Sweet. Right. Awesome. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. So, I believe 6 over here is the one that's open uh, for you, if you, we can boogie on this way. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, wait a minute, let me make sure uh, <laughs> faction members... Oh, I'm joined the, I joined the faction, so it should be... Yep. I need to promote you to founder. Is everyone on the squadron is a founder? So we don't have to worry about permission blocks and all that stuff. Well, that's and exciting. We can, get, we can get things done if we need it. Right on, right on. Top has top so, embarrasses me every way he can. He actually has working airlocks. Huh. So how does that work? You, you push the button to open and... Yep. Then you press the button again to... Open this side, and I think this one here's uh, a lock. Uh, the activation module binds is a lock, I believe. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> I'll figure that out eventually. Oh, and here's a hallway, and then I guess. Looks uh, like a hole. I think that's up. supposed to be a hole. Alright. Um, yep, how uh, do we align to the gravity again? Uh, is there is a or... gravity block right here, and I've lost you. I'm just at the entrance here, I haven't moved. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's a little gravity block right here. I see, and I just yep. I, I right. can't remember if what you the, don't it, mind. If you sit down and unset, it'll realign us in multiplayer. There we go. So if somebody can't see you, just sit down. And then the server says, "Oh, wait a minute, there's supposed <laughs> to be a person here." So that's interesting. If I ever disappear, let me know about it. Huh? All right. And this is dock number six. I think this is the free one. Uh, this one's all yours. You're welcome to customize it as you see fit. Uh, you have a little duplex here. Well, I, well, oh, it's I don't want to do that. 
Um, how do you align to the gravity though? Usually it's just it used to be the space bar, but the uh, um, R. Yeah. Now you have to look at the gravity uh, bar. Ah, there we go. We okay. okay. It works. <laughs> I can jump. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's so weird. This is so interesting. So they, but they've set these up as little like apartments. It seems like. Yep. And each dock has two little apartments. You own both of them. I have huh. one for sleeping quarters, and the others I'm trying to convert into a little office, but I don't spend an awful lot of time here. No, yeah, this is, um, yeah. You also have your own personal transporter here. Uh, you can rename it and whatnot. And you just plummeted off the station for me. Looks like I have a chunk error. Cool. <laughs> and you also have a build block. Okay, that's cool. Yep. Oh, uh, interesting. Some funky stuff happening. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, probably because getting... I know why. Yeah, uh, half your on. dock is just gone. <laughs> For me, cool. it's still... <laughs> Welcome to the squadron. <laughs> wow. I, I haven't this. seen this one before. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm standing here. I just can't move. It's I'm stuck now. Oh, uh, you're sitting down. Oh, am I? Oh, okay. No. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, this is nifty. Ah, I, I can keep... the rest of the station? Yeah, I do. I, I see okay. the station. It goes up into this area. It looks like a little fountain area here. And... Yep. Well, maybe if I teleport, it'll... Uh... Yeah, or Because it's not there for me. <laughs> or a quick uh, disconnect and reconnect, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, I just jumped. Maybe that'll force it to... Yeah, that could work too, yeah. No, it didn't. Alright, I'm going to do a quick disconnect and reconnect. Alright, well, this whole chunk's still missing for me. Wow. But the, the important part's down this way, so we can pretend I'm... I'm just going to fly past the gaping hole in the uh, floor. <laughs> that is Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, down this way, and, uh, and I can't see you. Or I'm following you. <laughs> okay, if you don't mind sitting down, because you are a hundred meters below me now. Uh, well, I'm still inside, right? But I'll sit. I'll sit down. There ah, we there we go. Now you're still inside. If, yeah. Every so often, it loses each other. All right. Yeah, when we have these biffy fountains and sort of gravity, but yeah, I prefer <laughs> being gravity. Uh, this is Ace Top's uh, top dock here. Uh, yeah. Um, across the good way, old logo. It's cool. I should see... do something like that. This is and uh... you can. Oh, who's this guy? F.I. I should know this, but it's escaping my memory. <laughs> uh, it's Garth, isn't it? No, it's okay. no Garth. It's over there. Where is this? This is some guy. Or no, it's Fuse. Oh, yes. yes. One of those. Yeah, it's three is Fuse. I just read that. Uh, uh, Garth's over here at two, and Jace Machine is at one. So if you ever want to have the inkling for graffiti, it's this one here. <laughs> Graffiti. <laughs> okay, and I have another missing chunk, so let me get out of gravity so I can fly past it. So to get out of gravity, you you go to the gravity block and just press. Yeah. Okay, that's. Or you could jump into the abyss, and after a while, it pulls you out. Yeah, yeah, that's how I used to do it, but. And this portion, I can't see anything, but there should be a teleporter around here. Uh, uh, there's a mission board that you're standing. A in. mission board. There's, and then. Yep. There's pirate hunters seek and destroy pirate bases within squad yep. space. So is that like just someone wrote the text on there, or is that an actual mission yeah. board? Oh, okay. Uh, Jace machines did that or put that down for That's mission cool. board. Okay. Now, a little further in, I'm going back so I can put my feet in solid ground again. And here is the factory, and there's a couple rooms off to the side, but they're missing from me, so I'm not going to show them to you. <laughs> and if you don't mind sitting down again, you're okay. I see. <laughs> plummeting to there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Man, this is Star Made surprises me every time. Every time I start it. Yeah, and that's this is the uh, squadron factory. Um, up here is the main cargo. I think that's where everything gets put to a build block or faction module. And you have these individual factories with the various and sundry outputs. Okay. And here's a thousand. And um, I don't remember the exact way it's laid out, but 
it's not real difficult. There's also some inventory blocks on the floor that hold different things. Top has like a oh, system cool. where I just dump everything in a huge cargo block and and uh, pull it out of there. Yeah, that's kind of ultimately that's what I do too. Is is on the last base I had. It basically yeah. filters into like a main central uh, depository, I guess, and then from there I pull out what I need and put it back in there. You know, so right. It just seems the simplest. There's there's cool ways yep. you can have like cool systems and stuff and mm -hmm. you know flowing of yeah. items and whatnot, but it's I don't know it's 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 not really necessary. I feel so unless it depends what you're trying to achieve, I guess. But. Yep. Well, Top has it all split up so you're gonna find things easier. I think he he did this I think to. Uh facilitate people using it. Oh, there's like a teleporter. Cool. Yeah, there are teleporters all over this place. So you can huh. jump around and whatnot. No, out this way is a shipyard. Yeah, it's that ring yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Feel free to use it. I'm not gonna, going to because the last few times I've touched a shipyard, I've got a uh, Java crash. <laughs> so... Really? Feel, huh. free, feel free to use the shipyard and all that good stuff. This is cool. I like this. And right. this place oh, is fairly snap. well appended. <laughs> and down this way there are hatches so you can get out of the, uh, or get to the ship in the shipyard. Well, this is a faction base, right? So yep. they don't get attacked, or this shouldn't get attacked, does it? Right. Well, it has been attacked when some some reason the um, outsiders attacked us. They got angry with us and declared war. And they actually attacked. They didn't do anything to the station, but all the uh, mining vessels that were floating around, uh, they they got they got beat up pretty bad. Yeah, because so they weren't yes, attached, we been right? Attacked. Right, yeah. they were just floating. Yeah. And so this is the home base, so we shouldn't have any problems. But uh, okay. anything floating, free floating, is a uh, fair game, I guess. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right. And how much do you know about the planet Curso? As much as a newborn baby knows about life. <laughs> All right. Once we found this galaxy, uh, the whole lot of us, uh, we had some outsiders come from some other weird place join us. And we all found this weird uh, alien signal coming from a planet we investigated. Uh, they broke into a faction and tried to steal the planet because there was an alien, ancient alien temple there. And they wanted to steal all the resource and technology for themselves. Um, Jace Machine tried to stop them. There was a shootout, and it, it just turned nasty. They took the planet by force, <laughs> and and currently they own the planet. We were able to regain it for a little while, but uh, using deceit and Tashara's beautifully crafted <laughs> machines, they took it from us again. Of course. And strange going on there uh be very careful in going to curso because it is cursed weird <laughs> curso. weird things happen hmm. like weird things and i'm not exactly sure what's going on now but the temple is missing it's just not on the planet anymore it has something to do with armada armada they're the bad guys they're the the rebel faction that tried to steal the planet from us right right they think of themselves as some sort of freedom fighters but they're delusional so we just so, destroyed the planet then. Well, because we want we want to know what the uh, the temple there. We want to know what those ancient aliens were up to. See if mm. we can use any of their technology. Gotcha. But it's hard to do that when we're at war. Um, right. If you open up your map. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you'll see there is a uh, away from us. We have, and there should be a blue line running to it. That is our staging area. So we have uh, a uh, a gate going there, and the system over Curso is in there. So system uh, over. So so what you're saying is there's this this one thing that's by itself. And that this you... little block of three star systems that are by themselves. The one in the middle is where Curso's found. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, cool. It's kind of in the bottom corner. And this whole system, this is a free-for-all. Anything in this system is okay. fair game. Sweet. Now, we have, a, we have a treaty with Armada that we won't go in and, and uh, take action anywhere outside of this system. Because we want to contain this war 
so we don't destroy the galaxy in the process. So anything inside this system, fair game, you find one there. Now, is the planet actually called Curso, or or is, is it just what we've, we've called it? Because they're breaking the treaty. Okay. So if you do want to do some recon and all that, that's fine. But if you get found, you get shot. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yep. That's why I suggest using a cloaked vessel. In fact, right. we had a, a bit of a run-in here recently. Um, some of the Armada scum tried to steal one of my ships in my space. <laughs> oh, wow. Except, except when they tried to dock to me, the uh, they uncloaked and were blown to pieces. Huh. It was great. That's, that's very interesting. Fascinating. Yep. Cool. Um, so that's about the state of things. We're trying to ramp up. We need, we really, really need to take Curso back. Uh, but we're waiting to see about our turret bug. Right now, mm. if a ship crosses sectors, sometimes it loses turrets. <laughs> That's like a challenge. Of the docked entries. Yeah, so we're we're building up our fleets, waiting, waiting. hopefully the next patch update will uh, take care of it. Cool. So, I mean, potentially I can... Okay, cool, because I have a ship design that uh, doesn't u uh, utilize turrets, so... Oh, I good. I could potentially, you know, load that in ultimately and uh right if i had the materials for that that's the fun part okay oh, uh, materials here in the station they're free for anybody to use probably a good idea to do a mining run and plenish some of them but yeah. feel free to use them and i have a couple mining st or factory stations i'll give you coordinates in a little bit or later and you're welcome to use those and then resources there as well is there an, an, an like a med bay here um, for like the un part, the undetonators oh, are they in the parts? Yeah. Uh, undetonator is right here under the faction module. Here we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess so. Just it's colored red. So. <laughs> yeah. I, I was first time I came in here. I wandered all over looking for it. It looked like a red light to me. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's why I thought it was right for all this red. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Do right. you have one, any other questions or concerns? No, 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 I don't at all. I'm glad all right. to have found this place, and I'm, I'm glad... Yep, well, we're glad to have you. That you brought me over, instead of having to build a little jump ship to try and make my way here. <laughs> oh, not a problem, not a problem at all. So, excellent, excellent. Now, I'm, I'll be off to the races to build uh, my first little ship, and then we'll go from there. All right, and feel free build a station in any of our claim land. Claim some extra land, uh, make squadron great. Awesome. Again, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Thank All you, right. JW. Well, it has been my pleasure, and I will leave you to it. Awesome. Have fun. <laughs> Thanks. All right, for science, I'm going to walk into this. Shabam! Okay, so yeah, this is my little humble ship. Nothing special, just basically a bunch of modules lumped together. No protection whatsoever, I guess. It doesn't really start you with protection, so this is all you have, basically. I guess I could kind of utilize the blocks, maybe... I don't know, can we change the... Th thickness of the blocks how do we do that again you have to bear with me it's been a long time since I've used the build but I imagine it would be just the same as anything else now there used to be a size uh, is that the Z no it's not the Z that's the offset I think um, I thought there was a way of w with these squares making them smaller or bigger right so there was yeah I don't see it here anymore you used to be able to kind of change the thickness and create slabs let's just go into the shop here and kind of take a peek at the the halls and stuff and the, this is where you'd yeah no it's still the same so I remember there being a slider there was a slider right here there's a Another, you know, right under, underneath here above the orientation, there was a, a slider. And so I don't understand 
Or is there like like a mouse key now that I have to use? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think there's anything that makes sense because I want to put plates on the top of this to protect it. But whatever, whatever. We're just gonna go with this. This is good enough. I built. I flew away from the station here just to kind of give a view from this end of the station. Uh, if I go into flight mode here, we can kind of fly around. Let's fly up here. The ship. Oh, ah, dang it! I have to change that. The for the controls in in StarMade, the Q and E do a turn left and turn right, but it's it's very jarring and it's it's not really t turning left and turning right. It's almost like it's turning left and turning right of the orientation. It's not what you would expect, I think. I think, at least for me, anyways. So let's kind of take a little peek. So we have Sven's dock here. Oh, I didn't go to this end. <clears throat> Looks like there's a massive. Is this massive turret down here? Let's go this way a bit. I think so. Maybe it's a massive turret on here that uh, that might activate. Uh, let's see here. Or is it just something that looks cool? Uh, it looks like it's a turret. Hey, it looks like there's there's one there. It looks like the, you know, these ones are big turrets on the side of this thing. I think. I think it, and it rotates up and down. I think so. It's pointing up right now. That's what I'm gathering by that. So that's cool. That's cool. So here we have dock number nine. I'm not sure whose dock does. I'm going to have to rebind some keys here. So if you need to rebind keys, this is definitely a good way to do it. I'm going to go escape. I'm going to go options. I'm going to go controls, keyboard. This is where we rebind them. And I, in the flight controls, my problem is I need to go up or down, right? <clears throat> so this strafe, right? So this should actually be space. Uh, so that's so, so this strafe up should maybe be. Let's see, it should be E or Q. I think Q, and then E, and then the rotate left be the left control, and the rotate right would be the space, All right? So that way, then let's see how that feels. Let's. Uh, I just want to hit apply, not any keys. There we go. Let's see what happens here. Resume. Okay, so if I go up, uh, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the Q is up. I'm not sure what it is in Space Engineers, but it it feels natural to me. Let's see here. Let's see if I can do some, perform some better maneuvers. Yeah, okay. I got a little bit better smoothing. I can kind of lower it down, fly forward, rotate. Okay, I like that. So here it looks like we have Evil Giraffe, and this looks like this is the ship from the Octo Affy, maybe like the head of the Octo Affy, you know, which she, which she created an amazing ship, which looked like a big purple giraffe. So this looks like kind of like an, an Octo Affy, but I'm not sure if this is like a another version or if she has like a shuttle version but I thought that the head kind of disconnected and became a shuttle but I could be wrong about that I'm not sure who's docked at one and three Jace might have one I like this ship here here we have a few other spaceships which you're gonna kind of take a peek at <laughs> you give details <laughs> oh boy it's funny so it looks like these these are what minor units I think so. I think Jace Machine made some videos on some minor units, and that's probably what these bad boys are. You're nice and you're wide and you're out in the open here. Yeah, that's very interesting. Let's rotate around. Let's slow this ba this bad boy down. Okay, okay. What's down here in the bottom of this thing? This is some sort of arm. Is it like a docking thing? Is it what is it? Let's kind of see what we've got. Oh, wrong way. Ooh. Looks like is that an, an antenna or is it just something that looks like an antenna? Let's kind of go forward a bit. Oh, this is a ship here. Looks like this is a ship. Whose whose ship is this, mate? Let's see if we can can we target? How do we target things in this game? Oh, connection problem again. Ha ha ha. I thought it's with the F. So this might be classified as a turret, which I don't know if that's really the right term for this. Yeah, because it's not highlighting. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's like a salvager beam. 
you probably put something in front of us in front of this and it'll salvage stuff maybe let's see let's see if this is yeah i'm gonna change the bindings here i'll be right back perfecto okay yeah because i think the e for up is just seems to be more natural than the q the q seems natural for down for me so anyway so this what is this this looks like a dock and it looks like it is it's connected and it looks like it can go all the way up so i'm not too sure Ooh, I'm gonna smash into this. I'm, I'm not too sure why you do that, but yeah, I guess an explanation of this part of the ship. Maybe that's the secret weapon part. <laughs> so yeah, so here's a shipyard. There's a shipyard that's attached to this, which I did not do a tour of. Looks like there's also a warp gate attached to this place. Man, oh man, folks! Wow, crazy, 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 crazy. How do you work these warp gates? I have no clue, and I'm scared to go through it because if I do, what happens if I warp through it and I can't get back, right? I guess I have a warp drive on this ship. I'm just looking at this to see how it's built, and I'm, I, I really like the look of that. That's pretty freaking cool. Oh no, huh, I almost ran into some ships here. Yeah, okay, so next thing's next. I need to put cargo on this ship so which means i should probably go buy some cargo pods charging up the the warp drive there and we should have a radar jammer if i go g go radar jammer let's put that here what happens if i go forward and turn it on let's see here looks like we're still able to charge and we should be able to move stop yeah it's still recharging excellent excellent so the next thing would be to test out the salvaging beams but we need some cargo for that so let's go to the shop here plop path to current just going for m for the map uh, let's point in that direction because i always like to point in that direction and let's make sure so right click to use the warp drive left click to recharge i'm um, kind of Reducing my speed a bit here. Slowing down. Okay, where are we? I did click for the shop, right? A map. Yeah, I did click for the shop, but the shop is out of range. Last time I did this, it was not out of range. And that's... Wow. Okay, well, let's just fly in the one direction. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. I see, I see. There's even a rock here. Can we do this? Um, do I need to change the navigation filter? We can go asteroids. There we go. Ah, 64,000 rich in Parsine and Sapsum. Let's see how good this is. You mangled up, hey? Eh? Let's quickly fly over to it. Oh, I love being able to fly as fast as I can uh, no don't run into it uh, uh, okay this looks like a new asteroid awesome I'm gonna sink my teeth into it folks I hope that is okay I need to test this out and it is slow as can be Wow okay let's try this again oh boy man oh man I need to definitely improve the salvage array yeah I think that is definitely a must uh, and I'm moving around all over instead of pressing and holding down the shift. So that way you can stay in one spot. And I'm just going to eat up these valuable, valuable resources. Nice. Okay, let's... Oh, where is it? I'm hoping it's putting it into my inventory. Oh, okay, sweet. So, uh, as, that is good. So I don't really need to put an inventory on the ship. Because this is just a temporary ship I'm flying right now. I need to import some resources, which means that I need to get going with kind of providing. Because if I'm going to snag a bunch of resources from the Star Squadron guys, I need to make sure I can kind of repay that back. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm starting all over again, but that's fine. I just wasn't a part of the, the transfer, or if there was going to be a transfer, or I had no idea. So, I it was busy in real life for me at the time, and so yeah, and so now here we are back to 
you know, square zero to start with a fresh slate, and I think that is good. I think that will be all right. Just you know, you're right from the ground level, and we'll see what happens. You know, I do have some some blueprints saved from the last server, so you know nothing's ever lost. It's all been saved. Even the station has been saved. So if I really wanted to rebuild that station somewhere, I could. So as long as I had the resources and whatnot for that, and there's a shop right here, so we're coming here. We went here for the cargo, but I don't think we need that as much anymore. Let's just get closer to this thing. Oh man, I love the handling. That's one thing about StarMate I enjoy. It's a little bit different handling than other spaceship games. You know, in other spaceship games, you need to have thrusters going in all directions. StarMate, it's your engines basically, and, and so it kind of reminds me of Star Trek, the way that those engines work. It's almost like it's creating a warp field around you and then you're moving because of the warp field, not because of the thrusters actually. So, I don't know, that's just kind of the impression I get. So, I was going to buy like a basic storage and some cargo space. Not sure if that's really necessary. The power capacitors are like batteries. So, Let's buy five of these. One, two, three, four, five. I like how it tells you the quantity now. It's, it's a little bit different. It's kind of neat how it tells you the buy and sell. Um, auxiliary power. I'm not sure what this is. But you... Yeah. We'll have to experiment with this because they can blow up and whatnot. And I don't know. I, I think they can overload, but I'm not sure... We'll have to experiment with that. Let's see what else can we buy in here. I heard that the scanner is very relevant nowadays. So the scanner computer is 12,000. Ooh, that's a lot. And scanner antennas, one, two, three, four, five. Let's buy five. We should buy a transporter. Ooh, that's 12,000 again. So do we have anything that we can sell? How do we how can I sell can I just kind of click and drag it up to here and I can drop credits don't want to drop credits we used to be able to click and drag stuff into the shop panel is that what it is what am I thinking of why am I thinking of this oh yeah right here drop so I should have I should read the window huh you're probably yelling at me going yo it's right there Duh! So yeah, um, anyway, so the Shabazz can be broken down, I think, into color. I'm not sure if anything comes out of this, if you process it. Can we process it personally? Actually, I haven't even thought about trying that. So there's this, this personal, you refine raw materials that's right on you. And let's see if that will turn into anything. I'm not sure if it will. I'm not sure if it'll turn into the capsules. No, that won't do anything. So what about, say, the Parsine Shard Raw? Oh yeah, it's doing the wonderful connection issues. This happens when there's an autosave, I've noticed. Not sure why, but I guess it's something to do with StarMade's network code. So, no, that's not doing anything. Um, let's view this graph. So, looks like it does the actual ore. Yeah, Sintir Shard, Verat Bastion Shard, Parsine, so what is this? this is Parsine Shard Raw. Parsine Shard Raw should make Crystal Composite, right? So now let's put that in there. See what happens. It should technically give me some Crystal Composite. Yeah, now it's working. Not sure why it didn't, but that's, there's this personal crafter thing that you can kind of have on you and I'm not sure if this is worth much money here but let's see I have 20 crystal composite so if we click on craft so if we click and drag to drop to sell let's see how much we get for 20 crystal composite so 120 for each crystal composite I don't know I see I don't understand that um maybe I should drop only one crystal composite so let's do that so let's, can I go shift? Not that, how do I split? Ah, uh, here we go, so I split. I just right clicked on it, I think. Yeah, I right clicked on it to split it. So then we have the one. And now let's drop to sell the one. Ah, so one is worth six, okay. 
I think that's what it is. Yeah, one is worth six. So how much is one of these worth? If I take one and drop the cell. So, so this makes 10, right? So you saw how much that was, right? Let's do this again. Let's do a test. Let's take 10 of these bad boys. Okay, let's put this back here. So if I sell one crystal, we get what? We're going to get, looks like 120. And say we get rid of 10 because one of those makes 10, right? If we look down there, see, it goes up by 10. So you lose money when you refine it. So essentially, you don't want to refine these materials. You want to just sell the hardcore materials. Hmm. That is interesting, folks. I did not know that. So now, since we're here, let us quickly put in a bunch of, of power capacitors because I always like to have extra... Uh, extra power lurking around. It's always good to have extra power. So let's put them under here. We got five blocks. Two, three, four, five. Okay. So that will provide some extra storage. Let's actually buy some. Can we buy some shielding units? So maybe what we'll do is we'll just sell all of the resources instead of trying to smelt them down. And then you know, potentially we can buy everything. So I think that's what we're going to do. We'll even sell this crappy stuff as well. And drop to sell all this stuff. Ah, limited shop demand. That's okay. Okay, no. So we go drop to sell. Okay, okay. Okay. Nice, 452,000. I'm not even checking if the shop has money. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah it has 124 million and there's tons of money here I'm not sure someone was saying that the shops don't have much money but I'm back I am back I can probably sell all of these as well let's see if they buy it wow they buy it all so we got 954,892 now to preserve your wealth hmm there's this little trick it's a really stupid trick but it's gonna work like a charm and I will sh I'll show you but I need to go back to the base for that so what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna continue harvesting and I'll be right back but just before that I need to find that in here what I need to buy so we do need to buy one of these and we need to buy about 10 of these okay we do need to purchase a few other things as well. I guess there is a search feature. <laughs> Again, it helps if you, you read it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. So if I go shop, I can uh, shop module. This is where you can store your money. So that way when you die, you don't lose 10% of your funds. It's all in your shop module. And, and you don't even need to sell anything in your shop module. I tell you what, I'm going to go harvest this a bit, sell some more stuff to make some more money until I can't sell it to the station anymore, and then I will meet you all back at the base. I just need to think if, I, if there's any other blocks I might need before I return. So that is my concern because I don't want to have to go back and forth, back and forth because it's, it is a little bit of a distance and it does take a little bit of time, <laughs> even with the warping and all that fun stuff. So yeah, so I will meet you all at the base in a moment here. No, we're not back at the base, but I just wanted to show how I would import my ship because I'm tired of using the salvager very quickly, unfortunately. So I might just liquidate all a lot of the blocks I might redesign this ship a bit to make it better at flying I don't know because I need a runabout ship so this is kind of probably what it's going to turn into and what I'm going to do with this is if we go into the catalog uh, if I press and hold tab there's a new radial menu now in, in Star May which is pretty cool and if we go catalog I already imported it, but I'm just going to show you again. You can upload blue, blueprint to multiplayer server as long as you have the, the permissions. And then in here will be all the blueprints that you've got saved on your computer. And then from there, what you can do is you can load the appropriate. And I think 
you know, these are the trade stations that I had and this is kind of the main runabout I think this was when I was working on it I'm hoping this one works if not I guess we'll see about this one it's free to buy the blueprint so so anyways you you upload the blueprint it uploads it it's done and it's here and then you can put permissions on to it down here and I'm kind of worried that I see this as this I don't think I'm going to use this this blueprint can I look at yeah see so there are points um, on them so I'm going to delete this one right here okay and I'm gonna actually import or actually upload maybe th this one because so we tried this one so let's do this one do you run about final that's a smaller f f file size I don't know I don't know oh but this does have the offensive because I know it does have a bunch of stuff the mining it should have mining but it, it doesn't on there hmm. I'm gonna use this one this one seems to be the correct one I'm gonna buy it and it should pop it into your your inventory I'm just gonna check the permissions to make sure that no one else can touch it and if you go into our inventory ah here we go so if I right click on this if I go info let's see if this is our ship and it kind of looks like it is if I scroll down it should have a bunch of stuff the Bobby AI I'm not sure oh, yeah I guess I put one on just in case if I wanted to you know, have it part of a fleet I had these damage beams built into it which is correct I'm just kind of quickly scanning you know there's some ice crystals for the back effect the ion effect um, I think that was for the cannons or something I have a jump drive and a jump inhibitor the, it does I think it does have a scanner as well it might not because I might have you know, taken that apart it has the missile tube which is amazing a real basic rail docker salvage it does have the salvages so I think this is my main ship I had on the star squadron server so now with that in mind I need to basically collect and add every one of these components and I will certainly do that by buying stuff here and so forth so yeah now I will meet you truly at the base perfect so here's the base again there's been some changes it looks like Jace has been busy building another spaceship there so that's cool probably using the ship yard to import it and something cool if you notice this is now all fixed so thanks to Jace machine he came in and fixed it I really appreciate that appreciate that man that's awesome not sure what happened or how it happened but yeah so now it's all fixed so let me dock in here shabam and let's hop out um, another cool thing is I went around and I bought a bunch of supplies for everything here is everything all that we need we just need to add these power capacitors and I think it should be bam we should now be able to spawn that to blueprint in which means we can get rid of this ugly thing and yeah it's gonna be exciting can't wait to do some combat testing I guess we're gonna go into Ucurso territory to check that out and we're going to see what kind of damage we can do so now with this all repaired let's kind of take a quick peek here ah oh, this looks so good thank you Jace thank you appreciate it awesome I'm gonna to have to do some cool stuff with my dock I'm gonna to have to put up um, oh do I have a display yes we do have a display module excellent let's put up a little sign here just for people to to know who's who, whose dock this is uh, uh, is it the wrong direction oh it totally is the wrong direction that's okay we'll do the I should use a build block actually so let's hop into this bad boy okay so where are we here we are no that's evil drafty so on this side here this is my side I think so, no that's not my side dock six where is it no yeah okay I guess this is dock six just has a weird copy I guess I never I never noticed this before because well yeah so we're gonna have to definitely take care of this I don't like this at all 
Uh, oh, uh, no, we'll have to undo, undo. I'll have to fix this at some point. I, I don't like that at all. So let's see here. So anyways, so let's switch this around. Is that the display front, I think? Yes, that's the, the display. So let's go like this. One, two. And we can make a pretty thingy. Let's just actually make it smaller. Can I click up here? Can I use arrows? Yeah, we can use the arrow keys. Oh, that looks... Let's see what this will look like. Uh, why is there like space in front of it? So let's get rid of that space. Let's go OK. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. Uh, let's see how evil did it. Ah, she put hers in the middle. I guess I can try and do that with mine. Let's see here. So to put it into the middle, let's add another line. And then one more line. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Let's try ten spaces. And this one might need eleven. So let's see here. Yeah, that one looks good. And so this one would use 10 again, right? One, two, three. There we go. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Shabam. I guess I could add a little bit more. I'm glad it's fitting nicely. It's funny how that's working out for us. Pure chance. Shabam. There we go. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. A little bit different. So... Amazing. So let's hop out of this mode. Um, where does it pop us? Uh, like this. Perfect. Okay. So thank you everybody for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Yeah, next episode, we're going to spawn in our ship and we're going to go into Curso territory and see what kind of damage we can get into and see if we can die and whatnot. I'll also show you the trick of how we can save our cash. I'm going to put a shop module here and I'm going to put some cash onto it. So then that way, at least, then it does not really matter. So let's see here. Let's give this a shot right now. It's going to put the shot module right uh, here. Only one shot module. Ah, see, so we go and put one. Ah, that sucks. Anyways, folks, <laughs> I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.